I was quite surprised to see a raccoon chase and attack a male feral cat on the trail camera in the wild. It looked and sounded bad for the cat as the raccoon overtook it from behind. But right after the fight, here is the big raccoon clearly licking its wounds. If you look closely at the enlarged video, you can see what appears to be some open bite wounds on the raccoon's flanks. So the cat clearly got some licks in. But how did the cat fare? It would be two more days before I saw him again on the cameras. Here is the cat two days after the fight, and other than a noticeable limp in the rear, he looks to be in pretty good shape. There are thousands of rats and voles and even rabbits that the bobcat and feral domestic cat can eat. They're strictly nocturnal cats, and birds are rarely, if ever, on their diets. Generations of genetically similar feral cats have lived in the jungle behind the backyard, and I always wondered how they fared with all the other bigger, tough wild animals that live back there, especially the much bigger bobcats and raccoons. I have a trail camera at an intersection of some well-worn game trails that are used often, but this is the first time I've ever seen a raccoon chase and attack a male feral cat. Bobcats, raccoons, and feral cats all leave their scent marks at this important intersection of their habitat. After the attack, the feral cat just went about its business and continued to fearlessly mark its territory. One tough feral cat that literally and figuratively has balls. I suspect he goes to great lengths to avoid the bobcat. I'm not sure what would happen if these two met face to face on the trail. If you look closely at the enlarged video, it's clear that the cat ran face to face into the raccoon coming the opposite way in a tight spot. And the cat stopped and backed up and then began to trot away rather than run away at full speed. This mistake allowed the raccoon to tackle him from behind. A mistake the cat won't likely make again. But the fact that the raccoon ran the cat down is a big surprise to me. A lot of time animals bite and growl and fight, but don't go so far as to seriously injure one another. Just make a statement about their space. And I think that was the case here.